Patrick Herb on field at the Rose Bowl where for the third straight season, Wisconsin's year ends in disappointment in Pasadena. This game seemed like a microcosm for Wisconsin's season as yet again, the Badgers come within one score but fall 20 to 14 to the Stanford Cardinal. The Badgers fell behind early 14-0 on a pair of touchdown runs from Stanford. Wisconsin showed resiliency that it's demonstrated all year when Ball answered with an 11-yard touchdown run to cut the deficit to 14-7. After a Cardinal field goal, the Badgers found the end zone again. This time, quarterback Kurt Phillips hit wide receiver Jordan Frederick on a four-yard touchdown pass. That would move the score to 17-14, where it would stay at halftime. The second half would consist of a battle of field position. Neither team tallied anything on the scoreboard in the second half until four and a half minutes to go when the Cardinal kicked a 22-yard field goal to move ahead 20-14. to That possibly set the stage for a heroic Wisconsin comeback, needing a touchdown in the final minutes. The Badgers would drive across midfield, but an interception would end the Badgers' chances. Um, I mean, it stings, it stings just as much um, because we fell short, extremely short, when we, we, ha when we had the opportunity to win. Uh, Divas did a great job of stopping a really, really good offense. But, um, you know, speaking for our offense, we had many opportunities to capitalize on, on big plays and we fell short. So. Yeah, I think it's the immediate reaction is the same. Um, it's heartbreaking. You'd like to send out guys like Monty the right way, and uh, we couldn't get it done today. Um, like Coach said earlier, kind of been a microcosm of our whole season. Um, faced some adversity, fought back, and came up short. So uh, just very disappointing. That's all from the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, where the Big Ten champion Wisconsin Badgers wrap up their season with a 20-14 to loss to Stanford and the granddaddy of them all. I'm Patrick Herb. Thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.